What's going on, family? I'm Scrapbook Boxing Museum of the Forgotten Fisticuff Series. I want to continue to examine 100 years of world championship fights. But let's pick up on June 17th, 1954. World heavyweight champion Brockton Blockbuster, Rocky Marciano, stops the Cincinnati Cobra, former heavyweight champion Ezra Charles, from becoming the first heavyweight champion to regain his crown. The fight took place at New York's Yankee Stadium. The referee was Ruby Goldstein. He had it 5-8. to eight. Judge Artie Adala had it 5-9. to nine. And Judge Harold Barnes had the fight 6-8, to eight, all in favor of Rocky Marciano. It was Rocky Marciano's third title defense. 47,585 spectators were moved that they invested $543,002 for this compelling fight. 188,000 was made from telegas, 61 theaters, and 45 cities. Now, Rocky Marciano was 29 years old. He weighed 187 pounds, and he had an 85-inch reach. He had a record of 46 wins and 40 knockouts, and he earned $275,691 for this fight. As for Ezra Charles, he was 32 years old. He stood 6 foot and he weighed 185 pounds. He had a 73-inch reach and a record of 85 wins, 11 losses, 1 draw, and 44 knockouts. And he earned $137,980 for this fight. It was a much-anticipated fight, and I want to go back in time and listen to Don Duffy's radio call. The boxers are still setting in their corners with their backs to each other. Now Charles begins to turn around. Referee Ruby Goldstein is waiting in the center of the ring with the loudspeaker. Now here comes Marciano and Charles, and we're listening to Ruby Goldstein. I told you boys are familiar with all the rules of New York State, am I right? Well, I want you to make this a nice, clean fight. I want to insist on no holding. When you're in the clinch, I'm going to ask you to break. And instead of me turning you apart, I thought you both to take one step back. This being a championship fight, as you know, we're going to waive the mandatory count of eight. We're going to waive the three knockdowns in one round terminating a fight. If a man scores a knockdown, he will immediately go to a neutral corner and remain there until I tell him to resume action. Is everything clear? Are there any questions you'd like to ask? Well, shake hands now and up now, and good luck to both your men. So we're waiting now for the bell for round one. Of course, it's 15 rounds. Here in the Yankee Stadium, the champion, Rocky Marciano, looking in great trim, and across from him, the man who once held the battle, Heather Charles, they come to the center of the ring, Don Dunsley. Thank you, Bill Carm. Good evening, everyone. Both are short with left lead. Marciano blocks the right, cross to the left, throws the left hand high on Charles' head, goes into a bob and a weave. They go to close quarters again. Ruby Goldstein watches them. They clinch. They circle around on the inside, near the ropes, without tying each other up. Now they break without being told. They're at long range now. Marciano leaning a little bit to the right. Takes a sharp right hand that grazes his chin and partly on the body. Goes to close quarters. On the inside, Charles holds with the left hand. Rips away with the right hand of the head. Marciano pushes his man away from him. They're at long range now. Charles throws a long right hand under the heart. Marciano struggles into a clinch. Rips a short right hand of the body. Again on the inside, Charles rips that right hand of the head. Now they're at long range again. Marciano takes the right jab. A hard right hand of the body by Charles. Charles seems to be concentrating on right hands to the heart so far. And it's early on the bout. Less than uh, just about two minutes to go. And it's round one of the 15th round if it goes that far. They're in close again. And Charles rips away with the right hand before he, he breaks the clinch. Comes in with a hard left hand of the body. Uh, Marciano takes a short right stop on the chin. The pace has not been too fast now, but Charles has been carrying what little there has been of the fight so far. Charles takes the left hand. Marciano moves in on his man, takes that right to the heart again. And Marciano on the inside puts the left stop to the chin. A short right to the jaw. Thrown by Charles. They come out of the clinch. Left hook on the chin and Marciano wobbles a little bit. Marciano is hurt a little bit, but Charles does not take advantage of it. Charles rips the long right hand of the ribs as they move in close, and Charles on the inside takes the short right hand of the ribs, shown by Rocky Marciano. Marciano bobs and weaves a little bit, moves in on Charles. Charles paints the left hand, so does Marciano. Marciano in a, a start shows the right hand that goes wild over the head. Charles cuts away with the left hand on the chin. On the inside, Charles drips away with a short right hand of the head while holding on with the left hand. Then he pushes the champion away from him. Challenger, Edward Charles, leans a little bit to the right as he comes on in. Now it's Marciano.
Marciano moving into a crunch without throwing a punt and Stahl very easily tying him up there in neutral corner on the rope. Just about a minute to go here in round one. Marciano moving in on his man. Both boys seemingly in good condition and Marciano has weathered that early storm apparently. He moves into a clinch. The champion has done very, very little so far here in round one. He has done little but clinch and try to throw a, a right hand on the inside. He has not thrown a long right. He goes in and Stahl rips both hands to the head. Marciano throws his way into a clinch, throws the left hand and winds around the neck of Edgar Stahl. Stahl's on the inside, taps the right to the body, then one on the chin. The champion has not been able to untrack himself so far. Marciano is starting very slowly. Stahl stands up and down. Marciano deep down in the crowd. Goes in, throws the right hand and runs solidly on the chin of Edgar Stahl. And Stahl is holding on, but Stahl fights back. Lifting a right hand to the jaw as he comes out of a clinch. A right by Stahl goes over the head. And Marciano misses the left hand, then grazes the chin with another right hand. Stahl stabs in the left hand on the chin, looks hard to the body with a hard left hook. Stahl is boxing beautifully so far here in round one, the bell. Two down. All right, Bell, they get out there quickly again. Marciano dances out, throws out a light jab that's wide of the mark. Marciano and Charles down the center of the ring. Charles rips that right hand under the heart again. They struggle into a clinch on the inside. Marciano rips the light right hand of the body. Takes a chop on the head by his is Charles. Charles rips that left hand of the body again. And Marciano goes in close, pulls his man, puts the right chop on the rib. Of his or Charles, they struggle on the clinch on the far side of the ring. Marciano coming off the ropes now, faints the left hand. Charles looking confident, puts the light right hand the body, left to left at his head, then takes a short right and a left hook on the chin by Marciano. Charles counters with a left hook on the jaw. Charles takes a grazing left that goes high over his head and partially lands on the hair, and they move into another clinch near the ropes near neutral corner. Marciano back to the attack now. He takes somewhat the shorter of the two ropes, a hard left hook to the jaw. That nails Charles on the way in and does him no good. A right hand under the heart by Marciano as they struggle on in the clinch. Most of the fight has been of a morning nature in close so far. Now they're long range again. Charles dances up and down with about two minutes to go here in round two. Scheduled for 15 Yankee Stadium. Marciano pulls his way in close. Uh, out of a half cut. Steps away with the right hand of the head. Is forced into the ropes. Takes a short right up a cut on the chin by Charles as they come out of a clinch. Both boys start punches them. Then think better of it. Marciano comes in. Puts a leg left hand of the jaw. Then the Charles. Marciano puts a hard left hook to the chin. And Charles goes in close. Rips away with two right hands on the jaw as he ties up Rocky on the inside. Charles has been the master of the inside punching and so far in long range. Big King Charles right hand to the jaw and Marciano seemed the, the more hurt of the two. As he immediately fell into a clinch and held down with Charles. As they break the clinch, Charles puts a light right hand to the head. Charles paints the left hand, hits part of the body with a solid left hand that time. And chops the right hand of the jaw as they move into a mauling clinch. Now they break without being so. Ruby goes, seen a confident official as the third man. They go into another clinch and on the inside, Rocky chops away with two right hands to the jaw. Short ones that time. Charles takes them without a return. Charles paints the left hand, paints it again. Marciano moves in close, chops away with the left hand of the head, takes the right to the rib. A short one thrown by Ezra Charles. Less than a minute to go, a short right to the head by Charles. And Marciano goes in close with him. Marciano seems a little bit sluggish so far. Marciano and Charles out in the center of the ring. Charles is short with a left lead. Puts the short right to the body. Marciano brings up a hard right up a cut to the jaw as he comes out of there. There's a light stab on the chin thrown by Charles. Marciano works his way in close. Misses a long left hand at the head. Takes a solid right to the body. Marciano brings up a short right up a cut to the jaw. And Charles stabs him off balance with another left hand on the chin. Neither boy has thrown many left stabs. Charles has thrown a couple. Marciano none. There's a left hook on the chin, a grazing one thrown by Ezra Charles. He follows with a jab that's short, and Marciano bleeding around the nose again as he comes in with a short, swooping right up a cut to the jaw and takes a ripping left and a right to the jaw by the Cincinnati Cobra, Ezra Charles. The champion bleeding from the nose now, and it's quite visible to all present here at Yankee Stadium. Charles dances up and down, and the bell. Marciano looks for an opening, takes a jab, and a short right hand of the jaw by Charles. Charles runs up with the right hand and plants it on the chin again. Takes the right hand of the body by Marciano as they maul on the inside. It's been a good, hard fight, a clean one all the way. Charles lifts the right hand, takes the left hook to the head, and one to the body by Marciano as they struggle in another clinch out in the center of the ring. There's Marciano bleeding around the left eye again. He takes the short right hand of the chin, smashes the stomach right to the jaw. Another left hook to the jaw by Marciano. A right 
to the head. And a straight right hand on his jaw. And Charles is in trouble. He kicks a left and a right to the chin. A left and a right to the jaw by Marciano. Who is trying to pull this fight out. Charles in trouble. He kicks a left foot to the chin. Half a round to go. A minute and a half yet to go. Marciano ready to wind up with a punch. Takes the right hand of the chin. Simon Charles. Marciano hooks the left hand of the chin. Charles fights back to him with a right hand to the jaw. Takes a left to the body. A right to the body. A right to the chin by Marciano. Who is on bridal fury now. He has no clue. Two left hands. A right to the chin. Charles is staggered. He takes a right to the body. A left to the chin. A wild right to the jaw. Another left to the chin. A right to the jaw. A right hand to the chin. Another left foot to the jaw by Marciano. And Charles comes back with a left hand on the chin. I don't know what's holding Charles up. He takes another right to the chin. He rolls away for left hand. Marciano starts with a right hand on the chin. That makes Charles hold on again. Charles takes a left to the chin. Charles hits him the left. Takes a left to the chin. Charles makes the right. And then the right. The left hook to the jaw by Charles. And Charles is coming on a fierce rally here in round six. Marciano moving in. Marciano bleeding around the left side. Hooks the left hand over the head. Goes with the left hand of the jaw. That makes Charles hold on again. Marciano snaps the right hand of the body. Marciano puts the left hook to the chin. Charles takes the right other cut to the jaw. Charles walks her down. He takes another right to the chin by Marciano. Marciano puts the left to the chin. A right other cut to the jaw. As the Charles is a game game fighter. He fights him with both hands to the jaw. Charles throwing with the left and a right to the chin. Marciano throws the right to the chin. Charles goes out.
Ron Dunphy. All right, Phil, they get out there quietly. There's Marciano putting out an infrequent jab that lands. One of the few he's landed in the fight, throwing a right hand to the body, but that's short of the bar. Marciano puts a hard left hook to the chin. Is up with a right, then a hard left hook to the chin. A right high on his head by Andrew Charles. And Charles is as game as they come in this fight. Charles on the inside, double right hands to the body, and grazes the chin with the left hand. Marciano takes a jab, then a grazing right on the chin thrown by Charles. Marciano fighting out of a deep crowd. Now looks for an opening. Marciano coming back to the attack, ripping the right hander. 
right hand of the body by the Cincinnati. Marciano rips from solid right to the chin. Takes the right hand of the body, but that was a, a fiery right to the jaw by Marciano. He takes both hands to the body of Charles. Charles holds on to him now with about two minutes to go on the round. Charles scores with the right to the chin. Takes the left hand to his body by Marciano. Charles takes two grabs to the head and turned around by a solid right hand of the jaw. A wild right hand, another left hand to the chin drawn by Marciano. Marciano and Charles win to a punch over the neutral corner. Marciano bleeding around, badly around that left side. Charles puts that right hand to the body. It's round 14 and half the round to go as Marciano scores with a grazing right but misses the left hook of the chin. Takes the right stab to the chin. Marciano scores with a right on the head. Charles dances up and down. Takes the left hand, doesn't throw it. Marciano moves in out of a bob and weave his head with a straight right to the chin by Charles. On the inside, they tie each other up. No damage done on the end fighting. Now they're long range. Marciano goes out with a jab, but it's short of the mark. Marciano takes a straight right to the chin, scores with a left foot to the jaw, and it's turned around by a left on his head by Charles. Charles coming back here in the 14th round. A little bit anyway, but he takes a left, another left foot to the jaw, and staggers him. Charles is staggered again. He doesn't go down, he takes another left foot to the jaw by Marciano. Charles dancing up and down, takes a wild right to that grazes his chin, goes in close, Marciano takes the left to the body, goes the left foot on the chin, and Charles has to hold on again. A minute to go here in the 14th uh, round of a 15-round fight for the heavyweight championship of the world. There's a short left hook on the chin, a left hook to the jaw thrown by Marciano again. Charles backs out of there. Marciano puts that hook on the chin again. Goes to close quarters. Marciano pounds the right to the body. Pounds another left to the head, takes the left hook on his chin. Marciano scores with the left to the head as Charles scores with the right to the body. There's a short right on the chin thrown by Marciano. Marciano holds with the left hand, throws the right to the body. Marciano scores with the left and a right to the head, and Charles bangs both hands to the body. Another right to the jaw by Marciano. Oh, Marciano takes the left hook on the chin by Charles, who fires that right to the body. Charles brings in a hard right hook to the chin, and Marciano scores with a right stab to the head as they go to close quarters again. They hold on now. Referee Ruben Goldstein watches them break. It's a left hook to the body, a short right on the chin thrown by Marciano, and Charles partially blocks those punches. The round is almost over. It is the bell. And five, but there they are, battling away for the biggest title in Christiana. They go to close quarters, no damage done so far. Marciano's left is wide of the mark, and he takes a left hook to the chin, a right to the head thrown by Charles as they maul their way into a clinch. It's hard to tell how they're going to judge this fight, so this round is all important. Marciano scores with the left hook, a straight right to the chin, a left hook to the jaw, another left and a right to the body by Marciano. Marciano misses the left hand, scores with a jab after taking his jab, takes the right to the head, Charles has been hurt time and time and time again, but he would not go down. There have been no knockdowns in the fight. Marciano coming in now. He's been bothered by the left hand. He's game. There's no question that truth. Are as game as any fighters who ever fought for the heavyweight title. Now they're at long range. A minute, two minutes and ten seconds to go in the fight. Now they're at long range again. Marciano takes a grazing right hand to the jaw. Marciano throws the left hook to the spin, and Charles holds on for a moment. Marciano moving back to the attack. Charles aiming the left not throwing it for a moment. Charles takes a left and then a short pumping right to the body by Marciano. Less than two minutes to go in the fight now. We're in the 15th and final round, and Marciano takes a bloody mess, no question about it. Charles is marked two. He throws a straight right hand of the jaw of Marciano. They go in close. Now they're at long range. Here's Marciano coming in with a glazing right and a glazing left hook to the chin, putting a short right to the body, a left to the chin. Marciano 